The case study project that I'm looking at is social housing units designed and built by Alejandro Aravena and his elemental studio in Iquique in Chile in 2003. Iquique is positioned in the north coast part of the country. It has a radical coastal climate as the city has a desert from the east with its hot temperatures and dry air coming from the inland. The building loads are live loads such as people, rain and wind coming from either the sea or the desert side. The self-weight of the building is being carried by its concrete reinforced structure and is being pushed against by soil, earth that keeps the building from sinking. The structure form is section active and that means that the building is mostly using forces in section. The structure is combined of vertical elements such as walls which create stability and, horizo and horizontal spanning floor slabs that are keeping the walls together. Floors are creating the stability moments while the foundations in the ground are the sta stabilizing element. The elements are mostly composed of concrete. This includes concrete floor slabs, walls, columns, foundations and brick walls. Materials that are being used in the structure are concrete, steel and timber, with majority of it being concrete, either in the form of concrete blocks or poured elements. In terms of vertical load path, all the vertical loads from the floors are being directed to the walls, all those forces compounding together at the ground foundation level are being pushed against by earth. Talking about the internal forces, all the walls are working in the compression, while the floors are in the compression at the top and tension at the bottom. The ground floor slab is being compressed upwards by the air resistance. The deflected shape of the structure will look like this. All the floors except the ground slab will bend downwards while the ground slab will be pushed up. The walls in the compression will bend outwards of the structure being pushed and compressed by the floor load. In terms of stability system, we have a concrete based structure keeping the main load of, of both the existing as well as the potential extension of the house built in the future. This structure includes concrete floor slabs that span the structure together and there are sheer walls built with concrete bricks that are giving the stability to the structure against strong winds and side forces. In terms of span to depth ratio of key elements, the wooden beam has a span to depth ratio of 14.2, while the concrete support column has a height to depth ratio equal to 9.08. The structure moment that makes this building very uncommon is a concrete reinforced base structure that is load carrying not only the plant and build part of the house, but also the extension that will be created by its inhabitants in the future. The infill brick walls are the sheer walls of the structure that prevent the building from deflecting and give it solid stability while the concrete reinforced poured slabs are spanning the walls together 